What's up game heist? Welcome to another criminology educational video and for today we will be discussing law enforcement organization and administration. By the way, my name is Sean Francis Sandiego, also known as The Professor. So before we jump into our discussion, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Professor and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next video upload. So for today, we will be discussing the following. First would be the introduction to disciplinary appellate boards, which is composed of two, the National Appellate Board and the Regional Appellate Board. Second would be the Internal Affairs Services, or the EAS. And the third one would be the organization and key positions of BJMP and BFP, respectively. So first is the Disciplinary Appellate Board. So as I've mentioned a while ago, it is composed of two. So uh, ito yung National Appellate Board and the Regional Appellate Board. For the National Appellate Board, it shall be composed of the four regular commissioners and it shall be chaired by the executive officer. The board shall consider appeals from the decision of the chief of the PNP. So ibig sabihin, itong National Appellate Board will be catering appeals from the decision na ginawa ni PNP chief. While the Regional Appellate Board, there shall be at least one Regional Appellate Board per administrative region in the country to be composed of a senior officer of the Regional Commission as chairman and one representative from each from the PNP and the Regional Peace and Order Council as members. It shall consider appeals from the decisions of the regional directors, other officials, mayors, and the plebs. So, SINAB or National Appellate Board, ang iko-consider niya lang ay appeals from the chief of PNP. Kasi uh, para mas matandaan natin, chief of PNP, ang kapangyarihan niyan is national in scope. Or the national in scope, kasi it, uh, ang under niya is uh, the national or the Philippine, the whole Philippine National Police. So ang i-cater niya lang ay yung mga appeals and decisions from the chief of PNP. While yung regional appellate board, regional. So ibig sabihin, ang i-cater niya lang na appeal would be from the regional director, um, other officials, mayors, and the plebs or the uh, people law enforcement board. Next would be the finality of disciplinary actions. The disciplinary action imposed upon a member of the PNP shall be final and executory, provided that a disciplinary action imposed by the regional director or by the PLEM involving the demotion or dismissal from the service may be appealed to the regional appellate board within 10 days from the receipt of the copy of the notice of the decision, provided further that the disciplinary action imposed by the chief of PNP involving the demotion or dismissal may be appealed to the NAB within 10 days from the receipt. So, Ibig sabihin, ang uh, grace period para ikaw ay mag-appeal ay 10 days upon the receipt of the copy of the notice of the decision. The NAB and RAB shall decide the appeal within 60 days from the receipt of the notice of appeal. So, meron silang 60 days or frankly 2 months para mag-decide upon its receipt of the notice of appeal. That failure of regional appellate board to act on the appeal within said period shall render the decision final and executory without prejudice, however, to the filing of an appeal by either party with the secretary. Next, let's go to the powers and functions of the Internal Affairs Service. Sa Internal Affairs Service, it is the proactively or of its own accord moto proprio automatically conduct inspection and audit of the PNP personnel and units. So, ibig sabihin, biglaan, bulagaan. So, according to its, uh, kumbaga, automatic, kumbaga, uh, accord, uh, or of its own accord. So, trip-trip nila kung kailan nila gusto. So, gulatan ito na magkakontak na inspection and audit of the PNP personnel. Second is investigative complaint. Uh, investigate complaints and gather evidence in support of an open investigation. Con conduct summary hearings on PNP members facing administrative charges. Submit a periodic report on the assessment, analysis, and evaluation of the characters and behaviors of uh, RN personnel and units to the GPNP and the Commission. File appropriate criminal cases against PMP members before the court as evidence warrants and assist in the prosecution of the case. And the last one is provide assistance to the Office of the Ombudsman in cases involving the personnel of the Philippine National Police. 
The IA shall also conduct motu proprio, uh, motu proprio and automatic investigation of the following cases. Incidents where a police personnel discharges a firearm or nagpaputok ng barrel. Incidents where death, serious physical injury, or any violation of human rights occurred in the conduct of a police operation. Incidents where evidence was compromised, tampered with, uh, obliterated, or lost while in the custody of police personnel. Incidents where a suspect in the custody of the police was seriously injured. Incidents where the established rules and regula uh, rules of engagement have been violated. So, these are the following cases na maaaring mag-conduct ng automatic investigation ang IAS. Next is the IAS organizational chart. So, yan yung uh, IAS organizational chart wherein it is headed by the Inspector General. So, tinatanong din yan sa board exam. So, it is very important for us uh, for you to know uh, na ang nag ng IAS is the Inspector General. So, civi uh, yung Inspector General is civilian and appointed by the Chief of Executive or the President. Uniform member of the PNP with the rank of police director ang Deputy Inspector General. Any personnel who joined the IAS may not thereafter join any other units of the PNP. Neither shall any personnel of the IAS be allowed to sit in a committee deliberating on the appointment, promotion, or assignment of any PNP personnel. Next would be the organization and key positions of BFP and BJMP, respectively. Under RA 6975, Organization and Key Positions of the Bureau of Fire Protection was stated in Section 59 and Section 55, respectively. While in the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, it was stated under Section 62 and 65, respectively. Such law was further amended by RA 9263, Section 3 of the said law, provides the organization and key position of the BMP and BFP and BJMP. The BFP and BJMP shall be res respectively headed by a chief who shall be assisted by two deputy chiefs, one for administration and one for operations, all of whom shall be appointed by the President upon recommendation of the Secretary of the DILG among the qualified officers with at least the rank of Senior Superintendent in the service. The Chief of uh, Fire Bureau and uh, Jail Bureau shall serve a tour of duty not to exceed four years, Provided, however, that in times of war or other national emergency declared by Congress, the President may extend such tour of duty. The heads of the BFP and the BJMP with the rank of Director shall have the position title of Chief of the Fire Bureau and Chief of the Jail Bureau, respectively, while the second officer in command with the rank of Chief Superintendent, shall have the position title of the Deputy Chief for Administration of the Fire Bureau and Deputy Chief for Administration of the Jail Bureau. The third officer in command, with the rank of Chief Superintendent, shall have the position title of Deputy Chief for Operations of the Fire Bureau and Deputy Chief for Operations of the Jail Bureau, respectively. The fourth officers in command of the BFP and BJMP with the rank of Chief Superintendent shall have the respective position in the, uh, in the Chief of the Directorial Staff of both Fire and Jail Bureau, who shall be assisted by the directors of the directorates in the respective national headquarter, headquarters office with at least rank of Senior Superintendent. The BFP and BJMP shall establish, operate, and maintain their respective regional offices in each of the administrative regions of the country, which shall be respectively headed by a regional director with the rank of senior superintendent. He or she shall be respectively consisted by the following officers with the rank of superintendent, which is the assistant regional director for administration, assistant, uh, assistant regional director for operations, and regional chief for directorial staff. So, this is uh, uh, the BFP organizational structure. So, it is headed by the chief BFP. Under is the three de uh, deputy chiefs. And under the chief of directorial staff are the directorates. 
same goes with the BJMP. So thank you very much and I do hope that you learned a lot from the organizational structure of both BFP and BJMP as well as the Disciplinary Appellate Boards which are the National Appellate Board and Regional Appellate Board and the last one is the EAS. So again, thank you very much. If you have any more questions, please don't forget or please don't hesitate to put it in the comment box. I will be waiting for your answer. Uh, I will be waiting for your questions. So again, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for the video upload. Thank you.